Sydney, the Daily Mirror celebrates its 25th birthday. The big occasion is marked by a silver anniversary week and special editions each day. Reporters write the news of the day and special anniversary features. The sub-editors and editor confer on what the main stories will be. In the composing room, the reporters' stories are converted into type by the linotype machines. Then the metal is placed into forms, page after page of it, and speed is essential because news just won't wait. The metal goes to a press where an impression of the type is taken on a special flexible matrix. In a matter of minutes, the plates are placed on the presses and another edition is ready to roll. Modern newspaper presses produce tens of thousands of papers an hour. Some will go by air, some by rail to distant parts of the state. In 25 years, there have been some memorable front pages. Remember these? In the week that the first Daily Mirror was published, these were the items in the Cinesound Review. Sir Arthur Fadden launched alone. And taxis converted to coal gas to beat petrol rationing. It wasn't really terribly successful. The Australians were in Palestine, and the war wasn't going very well for the Allies. It was 1941. Australians in Singapore too, and more of them were to arrive when Japan bombed Pearl Harbor and launched a drive southward. But war hadn't come to Singapore yet, and the troops, British as well as Australian, relaxed and went sightseeing. Back to 1966, and the Sydney newspaper celebrates its 25th anniversary. Special editions come off the presses as the Daily Mirror presents the news of the day and looks back on a quarter of a century of history.